Hi guys, it's February. I'm out here in the front yard where I have a couple of apricot trees and the larger ones right behind me. And the purpose of this video is just to show you some of the things that have happened on this tree. It uh, has gone through about four years of training and uh, I'll still work on it this spring, but it's really too early to start pruning. And I need to go get some sunglasses because the snow is so bright out here, I can't hardly see anything. So the first thing I want to look at is whether or not I'm going to have any fruit this year. These plump little buds that you see all along the branch, these are what we call fruiting buds. And they are the ones that are going to produce the flowers and hopefully some fruit. The majority of these buds are on the lower branches, but um, most of the growth is toward the upper end of the tree. This tree is about 12 feet tall now. You'll notice a little difference. I have a hat and gloves on now. Uh, it's a little colder out here than I thought. And so um, I had to go warm up a bit. I'm standing here in my orchard, which is only about a half acre of apples. But you can see right here behind me the trees. And uh, these trees haven't been pruned yet. And um, last year I did a really big pruning where I shortened everything. And I'll give you an idea uh, what that's like. Uh, one of the reasons I shorten them is I want to keep them so that I don't have to get on large ladders or anything. These are uh, trees that are on dwarf and semi-dwarf rootstocks. Uh, most of them are on M9s, which keeps them fairly short if they're not too vigorous. And uh, the others are on M7A, which they can get to be about 15 to 20 feet tall if I don't keep them pruned down. So I'm going to go over to the east side of the orchard and show you what we've done so far. We've just gotten started and uh, we really have whacked these down. They, they weren't cut very much last year so I did a much heavier pruning on those than I'll have to do on some of the other trees here in the orchard. This tree directly behind me is one that had not been pruned for at least not um, harshly for a couple of years. So we really brought this tree down and its maximum height is about eight feet right now, which is more, yeah, about eight feet, which is more than easy to handle. You can see that this tree is quite open compared to some of the unpruned trees, like this one. I wanna show you now what happens when you, top a tree, when you bring down its height, you can see right there where I cut off the leader and of course there's all kinds of other growth that starts to grow there that's all going to have to be taken out. And of course the growth closest to the top of the tree is the most vigorous growth. And um, I don't really want a large tree, so I take some of those things out. So you can see here a lot of upright growth that's gonna to have to be taken out later. When you make a pruning cut, one of the things that the tree does in order to repair itself is it starts to produce callus tissue around the edge of the wound. And if you do it right, this should close up very quickly. Um, if you don't do it right, in other words, if you make a very large wound, it takes a lot longer for it to close up. But one of the things that happens is you'll tend to get growth near pruning cuts. Here's some wounds that are healing very nicely. And the longer a wound is there, the greater the chance you have some type of pathogen causing rot. I'm standing at the northern end of the orchard and if you look at these trees that I have here, the soil is too wet at this end and the trees aren't doing very well. Whereas as we look to the south, as we go up the hill, up the slope, we have better quality trees. If you haven't seen one before, this is a vegetative bud on apple. And notice how it's really flat to the stem. And now we'll take a look at a uh, fruiting bud. And this is a bud that's going to produce a flower and fruit. And this is a terminal bud on the branch from where all the new growth for 2020 will come from. 
Directly behind me are some trees that tend to be leaning, and they're leaning away from the prevailing wind. Now, when you have trees on very dwarfing rootstocks, like in the case of apples M9 or Bud9, they tend to have very shallow and brittle roots. And if they're not staked during their entire life, then they will tend to start to lean away from the wind. Now, that's okay, but if you're one of these people that like trees with straight trunks, that might bother you a little bit. Uh, you do get a little extra dwarfing effect when the trees are leaning, but uh, you'll have to decide if that's important to you or not. Obviously, obviously, to me, it wasn't that important. Well, that's it for today. These were just some orchard observations, especially for those who are fairly new at growing fruit. And I will have more pruning videos as we go into the spring, and we will continue pruning some of the trees that we started last year. Talk to you later. Bye.